Hello everyone, I'm Councillor Georgina Papafodio and I am the Mayor of Bringbank City Council. Along with my fellow councillors, I am proud to introduce the Bringbank City Council Annual Draft Budget 2020-21. More than ever, Council is aware of how careful we need to be with community funds to make sure that every dollar is being invested back into our community in a way that keeps costs down but maximises value. Even with COVID-19 as a backdrop, Council's focus continues to be on all aspects of improving and enhancing our city, investing in ongoing capital works projects and upgrading facilities and open spaces to ensure the best possible quality of life for all residents. Our Council is also highly focused on advocating for the needs of the Bringback community to promote investment by federal and state governments and from the private sector and on finding innovative new ways to deliver our services to the community. Council remains committed to ensuring that Bringbank is managed in a financially sustainable and responsible way which allows the greatest opportunities for development of infrastructure and services while understanding the financial pressures facing families within our community. Last year, we heard from many in our community about the budget priorities that are important to you. We've listened to the feedback and now we have put together a draft council budget for review and comment. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the many members of the community who have provided us with input in developing our 2020-21 annual budget. In unprecedented times, this draft budget plays a critical role in underpinning our recovery efforts and supporting our community through COVID-19. Our priority has always been the health and safety of our community, but recognise that this current pandemic has had a massive and immediate impact on so many local people and will likely continue to do so. With this in mind, Council has realigned its budget planning process to reflect the support measures contained in the Bring Back Coronavirus COVID-19 Response and Recovery Strategy. A key feature is a new financial hardship policy to assist ratepayers and businesses experiencing hardship related to COVID-19, including an expanded rates relief program, payment plans and commercial rent relief options. We want to support our community and businesses in a way that is realistic, sustainable and prudent. Let's first look at a few top line figures in the budget. Rates are vital to ensuring that Council can achieve all the services it delivers to the community. Our primary source of income is rates and charges, which makes up 77% of our income. This chart shows how rates are spent per $100. Above all, the chart highlights Council's many commitments and initiatives and the diverse activities we deliver to support a healthy community that enjoys great quality of life. The draft budget includes a significant capital works allocation of $73.4 million to strengthen and enhance our city. When we talk about future capital works, we can't go past the highly anticipated St Albans Leisure Centre replacement project. The Australian First Health and Wellbeing Hub will be the biggest infrastructure project ever undertaken in the history of our municipality. Our unique hub will offer a state-of-the-art aquatic and leisure centre as well as provide a range of vital health, wellbeing, social, educational and support services, programs, resources and initiatives that our community will need to help us during the COVID-19 recovery phase. It is a huge investment for Council, but we know that this facility and the services and partnerships that come along with it will be crucial for our community to recover from the shock of COVID-19. Now is the time to invest in our community's health, well-being, learning and recovery, and this hub is going to be an amazing local destination with something for everyone. We can't wait to deliver it for the community. I'd now like to take you through the overall Capital Works snapshot. What all this adds up to is better quality of life for the Bringback community, 
better recreation facilities, better streetscapes, more efficient and enjoyable ways to get around the city, and all with an eye towards sustainability both in the near and long term future. Let's now take a closer look at the future sports facility upgrades where we have allocated $36.4 million of our project to support physical activity and encourage community participation in sport. Highlights of this allocation include new sports pavilions at Moore Park in Ardea, Bon Thomas Reserve in Deer Park, female sports facilities upgrade at Kilo Park Synthetics, reconstruction of the Errington Reserve Sports Ground, sports ground lighting upgrades at various locations, commencement of the detailed design for a new sports ground and facilities at Green Gully Reserve Northern Precinct in Keylor Downs. Our population is growing very fast and Council recognises our need to be planning for and delivering new sports facilities for our residents. This is part of our Council's goals of creating a livable and inclusive community where people have access to great, well-maintained public facilities. We are committed to improving the health and wellbeing of Brigbank residents by providing high quality playgrounds, parks and gardens and in the draft budget this includes we aim to improve the quality of life for our residents through making the places and spaces where they spend a lot of their time more enjoyable and more user friendly. Council has done a great deal in this area over the last few years and our capital works budget for the coming year will allow for more improvements to this great city. And remember these are just some of the projects Council is working on and it's important to remember all the day-to-day -day services which reach every corner of our city from waste management to elderly and disadvantaged support services. Finally, here are the next steps of our 2020-21 budget process. Community is at the heart of everything this Council does and it's important that we continue to improve the long-term health and well-being of our community. We encourage you to submit feedback on the draft budget and let us know what you think. Bringbank really is a city with a great future. Thank you and I look forward to all the great things we do in 2020-21. Thank you.